Okay, Vivek, now you have to wear the other hat, the technology hat and the future hat and tell me, you look like a scholar and a hero. Tell me where is the future? What is the most exciting thing that's happening, the greatest and the biggest? Okay, so that was my, my, what I talked about was my work as a researcher where I'm actively studying women in tech and other issues and I'm writing a book about that. The other half of my life I'm spending at Singularity University, which is... Uh, an institution which is looking at the future of uh, humanity, which is looking at, at advances in technology that are going to help us solve humanity's grand challenges. What most people don't realize is that just like computing is advancing, you know, go back five years, most people didn't have uh, smartphones, right? In fact, uh, I didn't have a smartphone five years ago. Go back 10 years, we didn't use email. Now, everyone who's watching this is probably checking email 10 times while they're watching this segment, right? We're addicted to it, our life changed because the computing power in that iPhone, in that smartphone, has become cheaper and more powerful. In fact, the, what I often say is that the iPhone I carry in my pocket has more computing power than existed on the entire planet the day I was born. Think about it, right? It sits in your, in your pocket waiting for you to check email or to receive a phone call. And that's more computing power than, than it, the entire humanity had 50 years ago, right? So that's how fast computing has advanced. What we don't realize is that there are a number of other technologies that are advancing the same way. Uh, take the human genome. For the first time, we sequenced it a decade ago. It cost billions of dollars to get there. Today, you can get a full human genome for about $3,000. Move forward three or four years, it'll cost $100. Move forward five years, and I'll, I'll have an iPhone case that I just touch and it sequences my human genome. Robotics. Uh, 3D printing, if you, you, know, we, you know, 3D printers, if you, if you, you should, uh, all the people watching this should go do a Google search on 3D printers and watch some videos about how advanced it is. The fact that you can produce all these uh, amazing devices using a printer. Things like this, I mean, uh, imagine trying to construct something like this. You can print the most complex objects using printers. Uh, these are all out of printers. These are all yep. printed. I mean, this is uh, 3D oh. printed. It prints it, you know, in this uh, uh, dust. So then you can just blow the dust off and fill up the holes. Mm -hmm. That's 3D printer. Basically, you can print large objects in this. This, you know, I mean, goes up, and flies, put a little camera on it. You can get high definition video of your neighbors. You can print the most complex objects using printers now. Just like you print on paper, you can print all sorts of sophisticated so objects. So this came out of a printing machine, This huh? came out of a printing machine. Wow, so this is 3D yeah. printing. This is 3D printing, And exactly. these are the machines that exactly. used to do this. You see, when we print on paper, we don't think about complexity. We don't worry about there being too many things on our piece of paper. When we have to manufacture things, the more complex your object is, the more it costs. When you 3D print, you can print the most complex, the most beautiful objects. Mm -hmm. And it's actually cheaper to print something like this. This can be very, very sturdy because of the architect, you know, the way it's architected. Mm -hmm. There's no cost to complexity. Mm -hmm. So, and this, uh, you just design on your computer, hit the print button, and a couple of hours later, out comes a printed wow. object. Wow! So you don't right. need to have a machine to. This is get all three D, all three wow. D printed. This is so. Yeah. This is complex. You can have, it is delicate. Exactly. It's got all the little cracks and crevices. So, this is the next generation printer. Within the next five years or so, we'll have 3D printers in our houses in which we'll be printing toys. If uh, a part breaks down uh, in your car, you just print that part and put it in there. Uh, if you had all the power for a day and you could make one change and uh, you, you could do that change for that day, what would that change be? Boy, I mean, I would want to eliminate poverty, improve people's health, um, stop warfare, I mean. Um, you have to pick one. Oh boy. I, I can't pick one. There's not one thing. There's so much that needs to be done. There's not one imperfection in the world. There's so many things which need to be done to improve the lot of, hand, of mankind. Parrot AR drone. You can buy this on Amazon for two hundred dollars. For two ninety nine, you can buy this for. This can fly, uh, uh, you know, for miles actually, and it's controlled by your iPhone or your iPad. It has a camera on it. One of the companies at Singularity University is, is called MatterNet. They're actually building um, a drone network for the developing world where there are no roads. Imagine if you have to get medicine from point A to point B, there are no roads over there. They'll simply take it by drone and deliver it there. Now imagine the next iteration of that, the next two or three or four years, when uh, the technology becomes more powerful. For $100, you can uh, buy a drone that'll carry 10 kilos of stuff. You can now have your pizza delivered to you, directly from Domino's to your house. You can have um, uh, 
you know, letters coming to you directly from the post office to your house well, delivered I by drone. I think this will be very useful in India because of the traffic. Exactly. Which takes one hour to go, the drone can go and deliver and go forward. Go forward 10 minutes. years, we will have drones that can carry human beings. Why can't, you know, because this is right now, these devices can carry about 2 kilos or so. One, the next advance will be 10 kilos, yeah. 100 kilos, 1000 kilos. This, but this is how fast this technology is advancing. My um, iPhone case is an EKG monitor. I touch these two leads, I launch an app, it does an EKG for me. And, uh, oh, really? So it's in my, my, this is my cardiologist. Oh. And I can take that EKG and email it to my cardiologist. Anytime I think I, you know, I'm not feeling well or whatever, I can just email this to my cardiologist and it's like those big machines that you have uh, connected to wow, you. Wow, so it's on your iPhone. It's on my iPhone. Now, have you set any goal for yourself? Like, this is what, if I achieve, I will rest in peace because that is something that you're really crazy about. You know, this will sound uh, uh, silly, but I have no goals. I, don't, I have no ambitions. I just go with the flow. I'm, I'm doing, you know, taking, I'm, I'm going wherever life takes me. Uh, I, you know, it sounds strange, but really that's, the way. people ask me, well, what's my ambition? Because uh, I've, you know, like I said, I've reinvented myself since my heart attack. I've reinvented myself, I've, I've become a, a very respected academic. Now I, I wrote a book, which I was surprised, uh, it's on immigration, which got Economist Book of the Year and all sorts of accolades and so on. It was a 100-page book. I never expected that's going to happen. I didn't have any goals or ambitions. It just happened. So literally, I'm going wherever life takes me. Well, you just do the best and life takes you to the you best direction. Do the best you can. Absolutely. That's, so that's um, the way it has to be. That you to give back as much as you can to the world and, and, and everything will be fine. Thank you so much. Sure. Anytime. Thank you. <laughs>